everyone, this is Dave with a Meraki Minute video to show you some of the features of Meraki virtual stacking on MS switch platforms. When we say virtual stacking, what we are referring to is dashboard's ability to take every single port on every single switch in an entire network and make it appear as if they were all part of one large virtual chassis. We can have some switches physically stacked together, some switches can be standalone, and the individual switches and switch stacks can be scattered throughout many different closets in a large building, as well as different buildings across a campus, or even multiple sites. This is the Switch Switch Ports page in the Meraki dashboard, which gives us some very powerful searching, sorting, and filtering capabilities to quickly and easily narrow down just the switch ports of interest, and then make the required configuration changes all at once, regardless of where they're located and if they're physically stacked together or not. Like any flex table in the Meraki dashboard, there are a number of various columns that can be toggled on or off, which gives many different types of information to search, sort, and filter on. I can simply type into the search box. Let's say, for example, I only want to see ports one through six on every one of my switches. That immediately narrowed down to 828 switch ports out of almost 7,000. In addition, a second way to filter is to drop down this arrow, and I can also type, for example, let's suppose I'm only interested in VLAN 128 ports. This has now been filtered down to 103. And you'll also notice the tags column is turned on. A third way to implement filtering here is to simply use one of these clickable tags, such as power, where my PDUs are connected. By clicking on that, it automatically adds that filter expression into the box. And I've now narrowed down almost 7,000 switch ports down to only 20 in a matter of seconds. You'll notice that these switch ports are scattered across different switches on different floors of the building in different closets. That doesn't matter to Dashboard. I can simply select all 20 of these ports click the edit button, and I'm provided with a whole variety of switch port configuration changes that I can make right now to all 20 ports simultaneously. We also, in this view, have a very easy way to spot a problematic port. For example, this one down here has been having some issues, and by hovering over the different slices of connectivity, I can see what was going on along with the relative timestamps. I can also, for example, leverage LLDP. For example, to find all of the Meraki access points that are currently advertising. Right now, there are 153 Meraki APs active in this network. This also works for non-Meraki devices. For example, I could find all of the Cisco IP phones. In addition, there are various different options down here that you can toggle on or toggle off based on what you want to find. So if I want to deselect all of my trunks, it automatically fills in the not trunk. Uh, I can also deselect my access ports. You might be thinking, why would I want to do that? Well, if I change this Boolean OR operation to an AND, that's a quick and easy way to isolate every single one of your stack interfaces in a given switch network, because you'll notice there is not an option down here for stack. But you can get creative with this and find many different options for the searching and sorting and filtering that you need to do. In order to see even more options, simply click on the help link here. It takes you to the Meraki documentation and shows you various other different search types, values, and examples. So thanks for watching. I hope this was a good intro or a reminder about the power of the Meraki dashboard with virtual stacking on the MS switches. <laughs>